How's it hanging? It's your boy AZ Lazy Gaming, and today we're playing Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai on the PPSS PP emulator. This is episode five. You guys have totally destroyed the like button on the other four episodes, and I'm super grateful for it. It seems to me that you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. You guys are into the gameplay, and so let me know if you guys want me to play the second one because there's a sequel to this game i just had never really like played it through and through because it was it was weird and like i didn't try to make it fun by playing the modded version of it and stuff like that and it's just like the game just isn't really that fun to me but if you guys are enjoying this let me know if you want to see two or is there any other dragon ball z game in particular you guys want me to play but anyways enough talking let's jump straight into the gameplay as you can see, this looks like it'll be a shorter video. It looks like it's a straight and narrow. Let's figure out what's going on here. You guys like the new hairstyle? Y'all like the new hairstyle? Excuse the green rubber bands. I'm about to take them out like as soon as I finish this recording. But let me know if y'all rocking with the new hairstyle right now. Usually I have my hair twisted or braided up. And it's not always in that, that little puff ball y'all see. It seems like we're probably getting towards the end of the game. Like, we kind of seen the climax of the game with Vegeta losing his, you know, his sanity and becoming Majin Vegeta again by having to fight himself and then fight Janemba. So, like, we probably saw the climax of the game. I don't know for sure. I don't even remember how many chapters it is. It's been so long since I played the game, I can't even tell you. And so like it's like a new experience for everyone here for you guys and for me you know what i mean how they keep putting her up against the sand man All right, so I don't want to do a repeat of last video, so I think the challenge, even though this might be a shorter vid, you know, the last two videos have been two-hour vids. For this video, I don't want to take any losses. Like, I was talking to a friend who watched the vid. He said, why are you so embarrassed about losing on camera? It's just a loss. It's not like you, you die or anything. I'm like, I don't know, I feel like a little part of me die when I lose on camera because I'm so much of a perfectionist, but... Yeah, let's try not to get no no losses this match. Let's play this through and through, you know? Because I debated when I was editing the last bit. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm gonna actually leave it right here right now. If you didn't go see if you didn't see it, go watch it. But in that last vid when I was editing it, I was debating to myself if I wanted to, you know, cut the losses out and just keep the wins in, but I feel like there was some dialogue with some of the losses I took and I'm like, I can't cut some of the losses, I would keep some in or it'll look weird to me. And so, you know, just kept everything in. Yeah, it was a longer vid. Let me know if you guys like longer vids or do you like shorter vids, like my Xenoverse vid that I did. 
I don't really know if you guys consider the Demon Slayer vids that I did short, but I mean, I feel like compared to this series that they're way shorter, you know what I mean? They just juice krilling up with some sand energy. Oh yeah, I may as well call this game Dragon Ball Z Krillin's Revenge. I'm gonna have to fight a little bit more timid now. Well, so much for let's not lose on camera, you know? I don't run. I don't run practice matches before I cut the camera on. I just cut the camera on and just like, just go with the flow, just record. Whatever happens, happens, you know? Maybe I should start practicing a little bit before I get on the camera.
Another B. Backwater worms. Man, you gotta really hate sands, man. Them freezer people will really hate sands. I was trying to do a throw. Imagine if he turned around and did something to kill me because I was trying to be fancy and kill him. <laughs> okay, cool. Our first S rank of the vid. Why are they making the villains so poetic in this game? And it's like, as soon as they put this music behind it, you know that whoever on screen is about to get really poetic for some odd reason, you know? Hey, we know Cooler would have never said he wanted Gohan to be a henchman 
or that he enjoy fighting the Saiyans. Back back for a second. Oh yeah, so there's definitely like the decline of the story. Like I've been paying attention the last few fights have been like very important fights. Like 18 having to kill Goku and Vegeta so they can go to hell. And then these last two fights killing off two of the main villains of this video game story. And so I think, okay, it's all coming together now.
Get a super coming on the out there. And I sold my chance for a super coming on the Okay. Now, now we need cool health again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Second loss on camera. Alright. I was trying to get to work, but it wasn't coming out at first. So good this game. Oh my god, Brody is so good. Oh, bro. 
Okay. What's up? It's Edit and AZ Lacey Gaming, and um, I have to cut it because my sister came in asking about our Christmas tree. We're putting it up right now. So sorry about the interruption, but we're getting back to the gameplay right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally, get the split thing going. Well, that was kind of sad, though. Like, man, that was kind of sad watching Gohan Lee, wasn't it? I totally forgot he was in this game. Look at the tracking on that move, man. Huh? Majibu was so good in this game. I totally forgot. I totally forgot he was in this game, let alone the story. I didn't even. Wow. Man, it's been too long since I played this game. Maybe they understand each other. I never thought about that. Now that they're showing their dialogue on the screen, maybe they can understand what each other are saying.
Fun to play. I totally forgot. Look at that hitbox. Look at the hitbox. If this was online, I'm pretty sure there would be plenty of Majin Buu users just because of the hitbox alone. The key blasts were going straight over his head. I forgot how good Majin Buu was in this game, and he's so much fun to play with. I know in the other game, I believe Buhan is in the game. If I'm correct, Super Buu and Buhan and Buu Tanks. Oh, that's the end of the game after this. Okay. Well, not the game, but the story. I thought this would be a quick chapter. How did I know it? I had a good feeling, too. Down in the comment section, let me know if you are a Gogeta fan or a Vegito fan. How's that? Ooh. figure out what I wanted to do. Okay. To our planet. This. Okay. 
Hitbox when I move is good, man. Not sure. I just beat the game. I didn't even know. I thought I had like two chapters left. Why did I think there were eight chapters in the game? Huh? I thought I had like two chapters left. Why did I think back in and play the other part now oh my god i have to play i guess you'll say the alternate ending why did i think it was like eight chapters Yeah. 
Oh, he got jealous. He was finna fuse with Pike Car. Huh? I said it was. Vegeta had a whole lot of loyalty. I said that back in like episode three, maybe two. See the counter. Okay, that'll do. Hey, how's that? Press it, press it. Okay. So good. That was a close one. Well, that was a close one. Favorite song again. But well, let's let it rock out for a little bit for the last episode of this. I did not know this was the last episode for the game. I didn't even think this was the last chapter. I thought we had about three more chapters, man. I mean, now that I think about it, I did beat the game in one night, you know. Okay, Boo ain't playing any games. Got you.
Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I seriously did not think that was the final fight. I didn't even think this was the final chapter. I thought I had episodes and episodes ago. I didn't even plan for our next throwback Thursday game. I literally haven't planned. Like, I have to figure something out while I'm editing this video. Well, while we're here, let's take a look around. As you can see, there was network battle for when you had ad hoc mode. This is way back in the day. You know, you would take the cord and hook it into both PSPs, be connected to the same internet, and play with each other through network battles, per se. Um, there was arcade mode, and then there was Z-Trial to fight under different conditions and training. A profile card. Let's say I went in here. This sheet that would be my background sheet. Let's change the king gamma. I don't have any stamps on what. Okay, so. This is battle data. As you can see, I only played the game for one hour and 19 minutes. Today, I believe, maybe, I don't know. On camera, I think. Let's see. Dragon Road, I have 17 Z rankings, 24 S rankings, 13 A rankings, and five B rankings. I haven't did anything else as far as the game. I haven't played any arcade mode or anything. I have no online matches, so there wouldn't be a battle log. I don't have a friend list or a card sharing. These are all online options that I haven't really gotten to, as you can see. And these are the cards, the stickers I was speaking on at first. You know, I have 43k Zenny. I don't know. Maybe because I finished the game, I played off camera a little bit by myself just to enjoy it. I haven't touched arcade mode, and so everything looks like this. These are all the characters unlocked. I have every character in the game unlocked. And that's it, I guess. I literally guess that's it. I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this gameplay. I'll have a new game for you guys next Thursday. Can I get seven likes for the seven Dragon Balls and five new subscribers? So share it with your teacher, maybe your neighbor. You got a fish. I know you have a fish. If you don't have a fish, go buy a fish just so you can share this video with the fish. You got a dog. If you don't, go find the neighborhood dog and go find your least favorite cousin. Not your favorite cousin, your least favorite cousin. And show the video to them. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'll let you guys know soon what game I have. Or maybe I'll leave it a surprise. Matter of fact, I'll actually leave it a surprise what the new game is for Throwback Thursday. Peace.